Hello. In this video, I'm actually going to build upon a previous example and I'm going to repurpose it using a loop. So, in this video, which you may have watched, I was getting an input from a user and then I was telling them what the circumference and the area would be of that circle. Well, I'm going to keep my value of pi up here and I'm going to define it outside the loop because that's going to be the same all the time. And what I'm going to do is have a for loop. Now, what I do with a for loop is I have a variable. Now I'm actually going to call this variable radius. And I'm going to say that it equals from 1 to 100. And then at the end, I do need to move that value along. So next radius, so it'll be 1, then 2, then 3. And then I have an end for loop. So the only thing really left next to do is to indent that. And so now what this program will do is that it'll go through with radius equaling 1. It'll say when the radius is 1, then the circumference is this, and the area is this. And then it will have when the radius is 2, when the radius is 3. I could even count this by smaller increments than 1. I could have it running every point 1 by saying that step point, point 1. And then it would do it for 1, point 1, 1, 1.2, 1, 1, 1. 1.3. And so you could build basically a chart where you could look up the area and circumference by a circle and it would kind of print a table for you doing that. So that's just a very simple thing that you can do to step up from a basic program where you've got inputs and it could actually give you that across a series of, um, of values that you can do with a for loop. 